who's ready for the next page? Well, um, I have flipped to my YouTube channel and I came with the Ladies Diary and I saw a page that I really like and that page is coming more and more back in my albums because I just like it. So definitely going to do in this special. Um, so actually it is coming on the back of the first page but we don't need to flip it. We just need the size of the base page. So what we are going to do, well I give it a little twist on the exactly page because it can. So what I'm going to do is I grab a big piece of paper and I am going to make, let's see, what can we do? We can go up but we also can go to the right, something extra. So we are going to make a flippity flop. On this side. Hold it. And then we are going to measure where this is going to be. And I just want to make it just a slightly smaller than the base page. Just one millimeter is enough. Okay, then make another flippity flop where you just put your mark on. And when you are done with your flippity flop, you can cut this at a half inch. This is the right size. Here it goes. Fits perfectly. Okay. Now, before I am going to make the measurement, I just like making a strange edge on here. Well, strange. It's not strange, but I like um, something uh, different. So, I am not putting this all the way down. I am going to measure and like set a half inch. So that would be a half inch. So I'll make a mark and I want to make this a little shorter just because I want that. So here is my mark. So here I will lay my pocket on. And now I am going to put another half inch away from this side. And let's see, that is here. So actually the pocket will be, and I will give you the measurement, let me first cut it. The pocket will be Let's say, well, it's a little shorter than six. It's five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of an eight. It's five, seven of an eight. Five, seven of an eight inch. And in centimeters, it's 15, exactly 15 centimeters. So that is what we're going to do. I want this to be in the middle of this pocket from this base page. And then on each side, we want some opening. That is the work uh, space we are going to work on. So now we have to, we can split this, we can move this, I want to say, for the next measurement. So this is the workspace we are going to work on. So, um, so like you see, um, I'm going to make another big pocket, but I want this to be split in two. So I'm going to turn this and I'm going to measure the half of this. And well, that's about 12. So 
so then I, what I'm going to do is put some tape in the middle and that will split the page there we go then I'm going to just do some tape on here and on here okay so we have just made two pockets out of one big one yeah that will be nice okay so now what I want to do is make again make the half and that is here. Yeah. So that is that will be the second thing I like to do. Um, or can I make <coughs> another flip page on this? Why not? Why not? I also can do this. There's a lot of options. This I did with the steampunk version. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, I am going to make just one little extra thing on this, and that's just making an extra flippity flop on this piece. So, just to make it a little extra difference. Why not? Make a flip it in flop. And then make the right size of it and you can make it just a slightly smaller. I always like that. Just a little smaller. And then, of course, the exact size of this. There we go. So we can make an extra page for extra photos. I always like doing that. The more place, the more happiness. So what I just did with the mark, we're going to do that again <laughs> on this piece of paper. Okay, just line this up. There we go. So we have an extra page. Okay, so the bottom is we have two pockets on this side, then an extra page for photos, and now on top of this. Again, we are going to make <laughs> sure that the middle is be made with a mark. Okay, and now I want to make the, um, the flippity flops. Really like that. Okay, um, yeah, we need some paper and this is 15 so um, if you have a 12 by 12 paper cardstock that will be the great size then you can cut two more but I don't have that luck so I'm going to need my 
A4 size. So again I want to make it just a slightly smaller than this one and I'm going to be needed a few more so I'm going to cut a few more at once. For the first one, make some hinges. And we are going to need more hinges. So these are two pages, two flippity flops, and this also a flippity flop. Oh, I think we need more. I think we need six. Don't know yet, but I'm just guessing. Okay, don't forget my breakfast. Okay. Okay, now we have prepared a few and now we can measure. Okay, the first one is going uh, down, I guess. Let's, let's stay on the mark. And perhaps, perhaps it's nice to make a little Whip first. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Let's see, do I have a leftover? Oh yeah, I have a leftover. Let's use this side. That gives just a little extra dimension. And you don't need any measurements, you just cut, oh, I think this is a half inch or one centimeter. And when you glue this on, you can go further with your own measurements, of course. You don't need any measurements. Just your pencil. Okay, just glue this in the middle. There we go. And this is the base. The base. So now we are going to line this up and make a mark and cut it. And make your um, make sure you stay away one two millimeters away 
on this piece and also stay one two millimeters away from this edge it's going to be needed just slightly off one is going to be just around here and it have to be fitting so and you always can if you are cutting uh, the first one too long you always can cut it just a little shorter to be nicely fit but that's always a possibility now the next one I also going to measure just a slightly smaller can be all the way to the bottom and then make your mark at the top of the fold line of your first one and like I said you always can cut it a little shorter after you glue it down Okay, so now we have one and two. Yep. Now I like that this stays here. So we are going to make another one, but then shorter. Um, let's say the half of this page, about. So this is... Let's say this is 11, so mine will be five and a half. And this is four and a half, so it would be five two quarters. Something like that. Does not need any special measurements. Just measure to the half. And I think I am going to need to cut this one just a little shorter, but let's see how it goes. Yeah, we do. We do. We want this on top of this. And then the half. The half of this page will be, like I just said, let's say, to here. And then the other one is the same one. I'm going to cut it at six. And 
this one too. Okay, so I have two. And this can be gluing on top of the first one, on this one. And this will be the closure. And yeah, I did see it. I need to cut this just one, two millimeters shorter. Just a little. And then it will fit better. Yep, it does. Perfect. Okay, the next one. Again, on top of the first one. Oh, this is wide away correctly. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty much it. So this is just the closure that stays all together. Then you open it up, open, open. So a lot of place for photos. Yeah, cool. Open, open. And then this opens up and more, um, more place for photos. And in the back we have two little pockets. And then it will look like, because this is smaller, when this all is ready, we can glue it in. And I'm going to put a nice strip on this side and then on here also I'm going to put a nice strip in that's a little deeper and then here is coming out the two tags. Yeah, I think I like it. What do you think? You also can slide it that way but then the page will be too thick so I need to little a little space on the edge so that's why I decided to stay away a half inch each okay yeah fun time fun time doing the decoration yeah really cool stay tuned join me in a minute again I will do it in stages and so that's easier so first I'm going to do the upper flap and I'm going to apply the first one I'm choosing this sheet with the big flowers same one at the bottom okay then on the other side I choose the same one
these flippity pages. <laughs> Come on. Get in the way right now. But anyway, now I am going to make this. And again, I will use a stripe. put the strip on the bottom same one at the other pocket cut my design paper earlier than that I could not so I am going to make a mark and I will check if this is the same size well this one needs just a little smaller but I can cut that later you always can cut a little smaller, that's no big deal, but so this one is perfect, so I'm going to fold this in half because that size is really the same so I'm going to line this up with my strip I'm going to cut it so the first one is already ready to go but don't glue it on just yet because I want to make a closure of course but first I'm going to cut this in the right size because this was just a slightly there we go. Okay, now we can attach the closure, and the closure I want to make with two chipboard pieces. So I am going to apply. Well. Yeah, I think I can, I can apply the paper because I can stuck right in because we do not have any paper on the back so we can glue this in it's easier easy peasy okay, and this piece Just a little edge. I really like that. Okay, now we have the upper pockets already. And I choose these two. Perfect, what do you think? Well, here is a clock. So I want this here. Otherwise it's clock, clock, and I don't want that. Okay, so let's see. You're definitely going to need um, some check because this is going to be in here and then this slides up, but you don't want this to be in the way. So I think this piece here will be the white spot. There we go, and 
yep, here it goes. It goes very nice. Yep, cool. Okay, next one. Just stay away enough so you have plenty of room to turn it. Okay, yep, cool. Okay, okay, why do I say that word so many times? Okay, <laughs> oh my gosh, mm -mm. morning uh, jokes. Anyway, um, the front is ready, so I still have, of course, do these insides paper. So I'll be back real soon. Really love, love how it turns out. Okay, I think I have it. I will turn this so I'll be easier. Well, I forget. I put one on already. Well, it's just brown cardstock with a little strip and a sticker. And then we go to the inside. And on the right, I'm going to use the same as the flip closure one this one really pretty and for a little because that was the last piece of the complete sheet I'm going to cover it up with this little strip okay then on this side I want to Put just a plain blue on. Hate to cover this, these nice balloons, but it's necessary. Okay. Stop saying okay. All right. <laughs> then on the inside, I will use again some brown, just to keep it. A little quiet. And I want to make a little pocket. Just also the last leftover from this page. So only glue three sizes. Three sides. So we create a little pocket. Then I grabbed this sticker and put some black cardstock underneath. So it pops up more. Then I will go put this in the middle and a little over. And then I just grab a 3x4 card and one from the sheet. And stuck them in. Okay, well, that is that. And the exact same thing I did on this piece. Okay. Okay, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep, here it goes. So, yeah, up to the next page. Stay tuned. <laughs> Let's see, on the inside, um, first we want to make a magnetic closure. So grab something, not something, grab a magnet. <laughs> and this will go right here. And then peel this off, close, 
and that's that and because we are putting this the same we are this is the same um, at the same edge <laughs> and I want people to see that there is another page so what I like to do is put a little ribbon on so I go up another and if you are putting this in this angle you get a nice loop I think let's see how this comes out this is the middle yeah you get well, I want it a little smaller this is too big because we don't have that many space on Just a little loop is enough. This is enough. Yeah, just a little. Yep, perfect. Okay, and now we can begin with decoration and Let's see, what do I have? I have this little stripe. It's so hard to pre-cutting everything. That's really not always easy, but Anyway, I'm going to place these little strip on each side. these colors the three colors the blue and the peach and this mustard yellow perfect because the collection collection is really uh, very much peach so I'm trying to use the blue and the mustard yellow to keep it quiet go so this is the base and uh, from here I can cut my design paper so back in one second oh whitey <laughs> I'm going to glue these on and I'm going to tell you what I did in some of my albums and I did this a long time ago 
not recently, I think. Let me think. Well, no, I don't think. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Where is the? Yeah, here we go. Alrighty. So, what I was trying to say. In some of my albums, a few years, well, not a few years ago, I think last year, I used to print out some lines and then put some image that will suitable with the paper line and I thought perhaps it was a nice thought to do that again and so I crawl beneath my computer and I grabbed my empty files with the lines which I made last year and then I go on Pinterest and I googled the word gears and vintage gears and then it's just amazing how many nice pictures you are going to find even the pictures that's in this collection <laughs> that was awesome to see but this one now is not quite the same okay let's make another one that's the, the difficult of um, pre-cutting stuff but I have plenty leftovers so I'm just going to make a new one real quick so uh, anyway what I was telling you that was really awesome I saw the image that's uh, no, no, not one image more images that is going that is in this same collection and um, even on um, a Dutch site that's called schoolplaten.nl <laughs> There was the same image. Well, it was in black and white, but oh my gosh, I thought, hmm, okay. But but anyway, what I was telling you, there are so many nice images to find on Pinterest. And when you do, you just can save them on your computer and then um, put these on the back, on the front of your line. So it's really easy. It is. And, um, and so you can print out whatever size you like, how thick the lines you want between them. Um, you can do anything you like. And I especially really like putting these in albums. So you can give an extra uh, a pure opportunity to, to write about your... Um, photos you are putting here in. I'm going to see if this is fitting because I think I am going to first glue this on the bottom because the brown I don't mind cutting a new one but I don't want to cut any design paper a new one so that's why I'm starting at the bottom and then yeah, I didn't know that. This one also, yep, it's not suitable. Not suitable! That's just a little awkward to work with pre-cutting. But this brown paper is really very cheap to be found here in Holland. I call it um, the Vibra. It's a very cheap store, but they have sometimes really good craft supplies. So 
I think it's only here, but anyway, um, this brown craft paper you can find anywhere in your country too. Or any color cardstock you want to use, but I really like sometimes the brown coming back. So, yeah, I think I like it. What do you think? What do you think? Really like the balloon. And here, the little hat, the steampunk hat. Awesome. So, yeah. So, this will see that there is another page underneath. And then, when it's finished, we can make two tags that fit in here. I think we can make one, two, but we'll see about that. I think it's better when we do that later on. Alrighty, so cool. Yeah, this was page two. Up to the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> bye bye.